Hey everyone, welcome to the first video in a series that I'm calling World Edit Basics. Unlike my normal World Edit tutorial series, this one aims to help people learn the basics of using World Edit. This is actually a remake of an existing tutorial that covered similar content, uh, just being updated to include more up-to-date information and to have much better audio quality. So today we'll be covering selections. This includes the various ways of making selections and the different types of selections. Selections are one of the most fundamental aspects of WorldEdit, so it makes sense to cover them first. Almost every other feature requires using selections to some degree. When making selections, it's often useful to be able to see what you're doing. To visualize small selections of the cuboid type, which we'll get to later, you can use the slash slash draw cell command. This is limited to 48 by 48 by 48 selections, however, so to visualize more complex or larger selections, you can use a mod such as WorldEdit CUI for Fabric. For the rest of this video, I will have WorldEdit CUI installed and enabled to demonstrate the selections visually. The most common method of creating a selection is using the wand tool. By default, this is set to the wooden axe. You can grab a wand tool by either getting a wooden axe from the creative inventory or typing the slash slash wand command. You can also bind the wand to any tool you like using slash tool cell wand. Once you have a wand, you can left click to select the primary point and right click to select a secondary point. Another method is by using the slash slash pos1 and slash slash pos2 commands. These will either set the primary or secondary position to your current position or the given coordinates. You can also select the position you're looking at in game with slash slash h pos1 and slash slash h pos2 using ray tracing. The pos1 and pos2 commands can also be combined into a single command using the slash slash pos command introduced in WorldEdit 7.3, where the first argument acts as the primary selection point and all following arguments act as secondary selection points. The pos command also allows setting the selection type within the command using the s flag, meaning you can easily create complex selections of any type with a single command. This is useful for writing down existing selections or sharing them with others. The final main method of selection is the far wand. This works similarly to the wand tool, but uses ray tracing to select the positions the player is looking at. You can bind the far wand to an item by holding an item and running the slash tool far wand command then left and right clicking towards the blocks you want to set as the primary or secondary positions. The first and most common type of selection is the cuboid selection type, usable by entering the slash slash cell cuboid command or by clicking cuboid from the cell list command. A cuboid is basically a 3D rectangle and is created by selecting the two corners. Another method of selecting cuboids is provided using the slash slash cell extend command. This allows setting a starting point as the primary position and extending the region to all secondary positions. The next selection type is the 2D polygon with height selection, which is usable with the slash slash cell poly command. This allows selecting an arbitrary 2D shape by starting a shape with the primary selection and adding points with the secondary select. The height of the shape will be based on the highest and lowest points selected. Next up is the ellipsoid selection type, which you get with slash slash cell ellipsoid. An ellipsoid is basically a 3D oval where you can select a primary position and then change the radius of each direction using the secondary select.
You can also restrict this to only selecting a perfect sphere by using the cell sphere command. This works the same way as the ellipsoid selection, but only allows for spheres. Next, we have the cylinder selection type, activated by using slash slash cell sill. The cylinder type is selected similar to an ellipsoid, but is 2D with a height similar to the polygon selection tool. And finally, there's the convex selection type. This is the most complex selection type, selecting a convex hull around the selected points and allowing for some rather cool setups. To use it, run slash slash cell convex, and this is selected very similarly to the poly type, but works in 3D. After selecting this, I can run slash slash set stone to set a 3D shape made up by those points, or alternatively, I could use a command like slash slash curve stone to create a 3D curved line between each point. One final thing to note is that WorldEdit is capable of approximating these selections between types, which can be useful if you're using an integration with a plugin such as WorldGuard, that supports some, but not all, selection types. For example, if I create a cylinder selection type, and then I switch this to poly, I can see that it has approximated a poly selection based on the cylinder that I had originally selected. Thanks for watching. I hope this has been useful and informative to everyone. As always, let me know what sorts of tutorials you'd like me to do, and don't forget to like and subscribe. It'd definitely help me out a lot, as I'm currently under the monetization subscriber threshold. But yeah, bye everyone.